Managed Computers is where you will find computers that are currently managed by the management console. Computers can also be added and removed from here. You can define policies, assign tasks to particular groups, deploy, upgrade, and uninstall the client from particular groups. The Action List allows you to make changes to groups while the Client Action List allows modifications of policies, tasks, remove move clients from to group, and remotely connect to currently managed clients. To create a group, select Managed Computers and choose New Group from the Action List. Define a name for the group and click OK. To add policies, choose the group that you need to assign the policy to. Select Policies and click New Policy. Check the modules that need to be applied. To further modify the modules, click Settings. Here is how you go about modifying the Endpoint Security EPS module and File Antivirus module. You can choose to block, unblock specific or predefined files from accessing the Internet as well as prevent usage of USB drives. Click on Deploy once the necessary changes have been made. To edit a policy, select the required policy and click Properties. Note, once a policy has been edited, it will need to be saved with a new name. To deploy tasks to a specific group, select Group Tasks and click New Task. Define a name for the task. Check the modules that need to be enabled, disabled. Checking the Apply for Subgroups option will deploy all selected tasks to subgroups within the group hierarchy. You can use the Task Scheduler to automate the task or you can choose to manually execute the task by selecting Manual Start. To delete a task, select the required task and click on Delete. The Client Computers option displays the number of computers assigned to a particular group. To move clients to a particular group, select Client Computers from the group that they need to be moved from. Select the clients or client that needs to be moved and select Move to Group from the Client Action List pane. Select the group the clients or clients need to be assigned to and click OK. You can also view various settings such as their IP addresses, e-scan status, version installed, client installation status, so on and so forth.
If you want to add all computers currently on the network, select Action List and click Create Groups and Tasks. You can either add computers currently on Microsoft Windows Domains and Workgroups or from the Active Directory. Click on Next to proceed. Click Browse and select the group you want to assign the clients to. Make sure you check Move Computers before proceeding. To execute a certain action, select the clients or client and choose an action from the client action list. 